As a father of four children, I've learned many lessons over the years. One of those lessons came several years ago when my wife, Kim, and I were watching our oldest daughter, Kinsey, at a soccer tournament. They were in the semifinals for this tournament, and Kinsey had had a horrible game. So I took it upon myself to be the person to go over in between the semifinal game, which the team did win, and the championship game as they were warming up. So I approached Kinsey and uh, just for the person that I am, I find it very difficult to give critique in the moment. And more in that moment, I felt like I should go ahead and be the pick me up dad and go over and find Kinsey and encourage her, pat her on the back, say it'll be okay. And so I did just that as they were getting uh, finalized with the warmups. I approached Kinsey, just asked how she thought the last match went and checked in with her. And she thought, ah, oh, it wasn't my best, but I'll do better this time. And so I agreed with her and just said, yes, go get them. And when I returned back to the seats that my wife Kim and I were sitting in, Kim looked at me and just asked, so what did you talk to Kinsey about? And I just said, well, I wanted to be the pick me up dad and encourage her and let her know that I thought that she was going to play better this next game in the championship game. My wife looked right at me and she said, no, that's not good enough. You have to go back over there and let her know that she was slow, slow reacting to the ball, and she was off on three passes that could have resulted in her teammates scoring a goal. So I said, okay, sounds good. And I slowly walked back over to where Kinsey and her teammates now at this point were truly finishing up their warmups and getting ready for the championship game. And I caught Kinsey's eye. She came on over to me and said, yeah, dad, what's up? And I said, Kinsey, your mom wanted me to come over here and tell you <laughs> that you were slow. You were slow dribbling the ball and you missed three passes to teammates that probably could have scored. And she looked right at me and she said, yeah, dad, I know, I'll do better this game, thanks. And so I went back to sit down next to Kim and thanked her for the fact that she moved me from the Ruinous Empathy Quadrant over to the space of Radical Candor. And because of the relationship that our daughter and us have, Kinsey responded in a way that made me feel good. And I knew that she knew that she could do better. And she was positive because of that small critique, getting ready to head into the championship game.